हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम कमिंग विद क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ पाथ फाइंडर न्यूटन लॉज ऑफ मोशन वॉट इज द वर्डिंग ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज सींग नियर अ स्टेशन अ ट्रेन इज रिटार्डिंग एट टू मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर एंड टू स्टॉप वेन इट्स स्पीड इज थर्टी सिक्स किलोमीटर पर आवर पैसेंजर स्टैंडिंग इन द कॉरिडोर ऑफ अ बोगी पुट हिट्स सूट केस ऑन द फ्लोर ओके द फ्लोर वॉज लिटिल बिट स्लिपरी सो दैट द स्वीट केस बिगेन टू स्लाइड एंड फाइनली स्टॉप्ड इन द ट्रेन आफ्टर स्लाइडिंग ट्वेल्व मीटर ऑन द फ्लोर रिलेटिव टू द ट्रेन अकॉर्डिंग टू द सिचुएशन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वॉट आर द स्टेटमेंट्स आर ग्रेन द ट्रेन स्टॉप बिफोर द शूट केस स्टॉप स्लाइडिंग the speed of the suitcase relative to the bogie decreases monotonically speed of the suitcase relative to the bogie first increases and then decreases and now my dear friend coefficient of friction between the suitcase and the floor of the bogie is close to 0.135 okay so simply i tell you one thing if the sliding will occurs now then the external force should be greater than equal to the limiting friction force be remember for case of sliding the external force must be greater than equal to mu s mg now i am coming with question what is the question is saying that suppose my dear friend there is a train compartment and in this train this is experience at deceleration or retardation with acceleration a one suitcase is placed here okay because of this reason the suitcase is start moving so if you suppose you stand on the train and you see the suitcase then you apply the pseudo force and if the pseudo force is experienced by the suitcase that is called ma it is nothing but it is pseudo force and still the suitcase is start sliding then this side is kinetic friction will act why kinetic friction will act because the particle is in sliding and the pseudo force is more than the what limiting friction force because of this kinetic friction i tell you this suitcase is accelerating within acceleration a prime so we can write initially initial the suitcase is start sliding okay so if we start sliding then we can say that the ma minus fk is equal to ma prime is it clear and here it is given it is given the acceleration is 2 meter per second square so we can write simply it is 2m minus fk is equal to ma prime now now what is happening when it is speed is 36 km per hour a passenger standing on the corridor of bogey so means passenger what is the case is happening look at here initial speed is 36 km per hour 36 km per hour means 10 m per second then how much time taken by the block to become at rest or you can say that how much time taken by the train to become at rest then time taken by train to become at rest so v is equal to 80 and uh, this is 10 a is given that is called 2 meter per second square and time t so we can say that in this case the 2 is equal to uh, sorry time is equal to 5 second my dear friends so 
during this five second during this five second uh, the suitcase velocity is increases why so we can say that during five second the speed of suitcase increases because because the pseudo force is responsible to slide the suitcase idea once the once the train become at rest the pseudo force becomes zero so i tell you after train stop the pseudo force on block is zero if pseudo force on the block is zero then block or you can say that suitcase then suitcase only experience a kinetic friction force my dear friend because of this reason the speed of the suitcase is decreases okay so we can say that the firstly the speed of the suitcase increases and then the suitcase speed of the suitcase decreases so what is the speed of the suitcase at t equal to 5 second i tell you speed of suitcase at t is equal to 5 second my dear friends i tell you clearly one thing simply you can calculate this a prime so because of this a prime the v prime is nothing it is uh, a prime into t so i can say that that is called v prime is equal to 5 a prime <coughs> and this suitcase is covering some distance s1 in during this interval okay this distance is say called s1 at time t is equal to 5 second and after this interval this is become at rest so here it is become at rest so this distance is s2 and final it is become c so s1 if you want to calculate you can calculate s1 is equal to half of a prime into 5 square that is called s1 is equal to 25 by 2 into a prime my dear friend similarly i tell you after removal the forces clearly after means after train become at a stop after train stopped the pseudo force of the block is zero then suitcase only experience a kinetic friction force then then if this is the suitcase again i want to draw this is a car train and the train become at rest this is becomes zero and pseudo suitcase is moving with the velocity v prime here this is called v prime which is 5a prime so only one force is acting that is called kinetic friction so if this is the kinetic friction and because of this kinetic friction it is moving up to a distance s2 
and final this speed is becomes zero. So we can say that S two is equal to V prime square upon two times um, that is called let's say a one. So two times a one. Okay. So I can tell you here in here. In the question, it is given the total distance is twelve meter. So here, the S one plus S two is equal to twelve meter. So I can write it is S one is twenty five a prime by two plus v prime square upon two a one is equal to twelve. Is it clear? Now I tell you one thing. If you see this uh, clearly, then v prime. I tell you that is called five a prime. So here you can put twenty five a prime by two plus twenty five a prime square by two a one is equal to twelve. Is it clear? So now if we calcul, if you calculate the Suppose you take the common of twenty uh, five a prime by two, then it is uh, it is one plus a prime by a one is equal to twelve. My dear friends, I want to tell you the a prime by a one into a one plus a prime is equal to twenty four by two. Listen and take the patience. Also, I want to write clearly what is the a prime, what is the a one. So a prime is f minus f k by m. Okay, or f that's f is nothing. It is the acceleration. So that is called a minus f k by m. Divided by f k by m into a minus f k by m plus plus f k by m. A one is f k by m here. A one is f k by m, and a prime is f minus f k by m, which I already. Discuss here. Okay, so now, my dear friends, f k prime to f k cancel. That is called twenty four by twenty five, and this value is a is given already in this question. That is called two. So two minus mu k g divided by mu k g is equal to twenty four by twenty five. Okay, and uh, into a also into two, so two is twelve. So we can write two upon mu k g minus one is equal to twelve by twenty five. Then two upon mu k g is equal to this is twelve plus one is. Uh, Twelve upon twenty-five plus one. Is it clear? So you can say that two upon mu k g is equal to thirty-seven upon twenty-five, and mu k g is equal to it is fifty upon thirty-seven. Finally, mu k is equal to five by thirty-seven. That is approximate zero point one three five. So the kinetic friction coefficient on the block is on the case is, is zero point one three five. So let's check it. The answers. What are the correct options? Number one is the train stopped before the suitcase stops sliding. No, suitcase is still moving before after train stops. So this answer is train stopped before this. Of course, this is correct answer. Because train before before train is stopped, the suitcase is continuously moving. Next one is speed of the suitcase relative to the bogie decreases monotone. Wrong. 
रॉन्ग स्पीड ऑफ द सूट केस रिलेटिव टू द बोगी फर्स्ट इंक्रीजेस आई टेल यू क्लियरली एंड देन डिक्रीजेस सो दिस आंसर इज करेक्ट कॉफिशियंट ऑफ कैनेटिक फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द सूट केस एंड द फ्लोर ऑफ द बोगी इज क्लोज टू जीरो पॉइंट वन थ्री फाइव सो दैट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो